Good day, students. You are welcome to history class. Let's look at this topic that says brood stock selection and handling. Brood stock selection and handling. What are the objectives? You should be able to define brood stock selection. And uh, you should also be able to differentiate between a male and female sexually matured fish. You should be able to differentiate fish that is male and fish that is female. And of course, state qualities of good uh, breeders. Uh, good fish, uh, qualities of a good fish. You should be able to state it. What are the things I should look out for in a brood stock? Meaning of brood stock selection. What does it mean? Brood stock selection refers to the selection or collection of fish with desirable hereditary or genetic qualities of improved threats. It refers to the selection or collection of fish that have the threats that you like. These fish have the desirable hereditary characters that you like. So collection, selection of this brew stock is what we call brew stock selection. Or that's what we call it, brew stock collection. It is the selection or collection of fish with desirable hereditary qualities of improved threat. What are those threats? The threat can be rapid growth. The fish is growing very fast. That's a threat. You like it. You select it. Example is catfish. Catfish is a very good rapid grower. It grows very fast. Within four months, you, are, you can harvest and sell. So ra rapid growth is a threat. And tolerance to poor water quality, even if the water is dirty, yet the fish can survive. What kind of fish is that? Catfish. Catfish tolerates even uh, bad water, although for some time. You don't keep on keeping the water bad. But uh, re relatively, compared to fishes like tilapia, catfish is very good in tolerating poor water quality. So it's a good threat. What other threat? You select this brood stock based on its appetite, the appetite of the fish. Select fishes that have strong appetite for food. That is, they keep eating. The more they eat, the more they grow. And the more they grow, the more weight they acquire. I hope you know that if your fish have more weight, then you have more money. So select fishes that have good, um, uh, what do I say? They have good flair for eating. They eat a lot. So it's a good, uh, it's a good threat. Select fishes that have omnivorous feeding habit. That is, they can eat any food. Both plants and animal. They can eat. Uh, anything you give them, they will eat. Your kitchen waste, they will eat. You go to the, uh, to the market, you buy commercial food, they will eat. Even you get live chicken and throw it inside a pond, they will eat. This is the threat you should look out for. Fishes that are omnivorous in nature. If it is only carnivorous in nature, they will be affected because most times you may not have the food they want to eat. If it is only herbivorous in nature, you can also be affected. So select fishes that are omnivorous in nature. Of course, example of such fish is catfish. Catfish has rapid growth. They have they are tolerance to poor water quality. They have strong appetites and they are also omnivorous in feeding. Brood fish can be collected from the wild, that is the natural environment, or fish farms. That's where you can get brood fish. You can go to the wild, that is the river. You can go to streams and get uh, a brood fish. You can also visit any nearby farms to buy brood fish. You can still call them brood stock. The difference between male 
and female sexually mature fish using their sex organ. How do you differentiate between a male fish and a female fish? The best and very simple way to do that is to look at their sex organ. Check out their sex organ. The adult male or the adult male fish has an elongated backward projecting form of its papilla. That is, its um, reproductive organ is elongated and project, it projects backward. If you see a male fish with this kind of uh, endowment, is a male fish. Is a male fish. The sex organ is long, elongated, and projects backward. That's a, an adult male fish. While the female has an oval form of a reproductive organ, their reproductive organ is oval. It looks roundish in color. While the male looks pointed. The male fish, the genital papilla, that's the reproductive organ, is elongated and, and points backward. While the female fish, the genital papilla, is round over in nature. Now that's the picture. That's the picture of um, a male fish. If you look very closely, you see it. Um, it's projecting backward and um, it's elongated. That's a male catfish. The next one there is the female catfish. You can see it very well. The the genital papilla is over, while the male genital papilla is pointing backward. Is pointing backward. I wish I can do it so that you understand very well. Let me use the pointer and see if I can explain that to you. Let me use the pointer. Now this, this is it. That is the genital papilla. Look at it. I, I use something red to circulate. You can see it. It's, it's elongated and is projecting backward. That is a male catfish. Now let's go to the female. The female catfish. You can see it. Let me circulate again. I circle it. That is the female genital papilla. It is round in nature. With these two signs, you can differentiate between an adult male fish and the adult female fish. If you don't have to differentiate it, you may end up buying a female fish, thinking you bought a male fish. So it's good you know they are sexes. It's good you know how to differentiate both of, you know, these fishes so that you don't make mistake. That is the male catfish and this is a female catfish with a round genital papilla. The male has point, a pointed, elongated genital papilla while the female has a round, oval form genital papilla. Okay, let's continue. Qualities of good breeders. What do you look out for? The female should have a well-rounded and soft stomach. The qualities of good breeders. The female fish should have a well-rounded and soft stomach. The soft stomach is for it to carry enough egg. And the stomach should be well rounded. That's what. So if you are going to buy, uh, broodstock, look out for fishes that have well rounded, that their stomach is round and soft to carry enough, enough egg. Okay. That's the example of, um, a good female fish. If you look very well, you see it. 
the stomach is well rounded, well rounded, well rounded stomach. That's the quality, a good quality of a female fish. The individual broodstock should weigh about 0 0.11 kg. The fish should weigh about 0 to 1 kg. Don't use any fish less than 0 0.5 kg. It's not a good fish. It's not good for, for, for breeding. It's not good for, uh, maybe if you want to do hatchery, you want to do artificial, artificial production. I mean, you want the fish to reproduce artificially. Don't use any fish that is less than 0 0.5 kg. And if it is weighing more than 1 kg, it will be difficult for you to handle. So use fish that you can easily handle between 0 0.5 to 1 kg. Okay? And they should be hardy in nature with the ability to remain alive even out of water for a long period of time. That is a good fish. The fish that can stay out of water even for a long period of time and the fish that have a weight of about 0 0.5 to 1 kg in kilogram will give you uh, a good quality fish. We also say that the fish should have mature gamete. The fish should have mature gamete. That means that that is a good uh, broodstock. Your broodstock should have good egg, that is for the female, and good milt. The milt is also called the spam for the male fish. The, the, the broodstock should have mature egg and mature milt. If the eggs are not mature, the broodstock cannot give you the best reproduction. In fact, the eggs may not hatch. It won't even hatch very well. If the eggs are not mature, they won't hatch very well. So make sure that the broodstock you are about to buy, the eggs are mature for the female. And then the milk are also enough for the male. Look at this assignment. I wouldn't want this assignment to, it may not be compulsory because of the, because of what we are experiencing around us now. But if you can, you can still do this assignment. It's not compulsory, but it can help you. Now what's the assignment? Get a male catfish, if, if it is possible for you. Get a male catfish, bisect it, cut it, Turn the fish upside down, bisect it, and remove the milt. Remember the milt um, is also called the spam. Remove the milt, snap that milt sack, and submit it um, the way you have been submitting your assignment. Just snap it. Um, I, I don't know how you are going to do it, but do it in a way that... Um, I will understand. Bisect the, the milt, sorry, bisect the male fish, remove the milt sack, snap it, and then, uh, and send it to me. I will mark it. Please, if you don't know how a milt sack looks like, you can browse it. Just go to the internet and check the, uh, look for male catfish. Click on it, just that you want the milk sack, how to bisect a male catfish. They will show it to you. You can also ask them, what is the milk sack? You will see it. The internet will give you all the information you need. Now, once you bisect it, just give me, snap it, and then send it. I will mark it for you. That is if you can do this assignment. But if you do it, I, I encourage you to do it. But if you cannot do it because of what we are passing through, there is no problem. If you have a chance and you have an opportunity to do it, please do it. It will really help you. Thank you, students. Um, I hope to see you in the next class. God bless you. Amen.